Well, hello everyone. This is Miss Ashley with the Crystal Lake Public Library here to show you how to do our May Elementary Take and Make activity. And if you have picked it up from the Nature Center, then you're going to have this bag right here and I'm going to go through it and show you how to do it. What we are going to make is this awesome um, scale of the distance between all of the planets in our solar system. Like this is your own little solar system right here pretty awesome. Now, we sometimes think about the differences in the sizes of the planets, and this is a good um, scale, and that shows the difference. Like, this is teeny tiny little Mercury right here, and this is gigantic Jupiter, and Earth is about that big compared to the rest of the planets. So in the activity we're doing today, all the planets are the same size. But what we're doing is we're looking to see the distance between all of the planets. And this bell is our sun. And then the different colored beads are the different planets. And you can see Earth is right there. And at the beginning of the solar system, the planets are closer together. But then when you get to the end, they're very, very far apart. And the measurement between the planets is called astronomical units. Let's get started. Okay, here is the bag that you picked up from the Nature Center, and here are the contents inside. We have written instructions. We have a jingle bell, a key ring. We have elastic cord. We have eight different colored beads, and we have 45 black beads. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our cord and we're going to thread it on to the jingle bell and we're going to tie a knot. Now, sometimes knots are tricky and it's okay to ask for an extra set of hands. I'm gonna tie two knots just to make sure it's on there secure. So it's okay if you wanna ask someone else in your house to help you out, all right? Okay, and then I'm not gonna cut this off. I'm just gonna thread it into the beads. That'll make it easier. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on one black bead, and this is gonna represent the distance between the sun and the first planet. So you can see I put that around the extra bit of string there. And then the first planet is going to be Mercury, the brown bead. So I'm gonna slide Mercury on here, and I'm being careful not to drop my string because I will drop my beads. And this is someone who's speaking from experience. <laughs> All right, so brown bead is Mercury. Then I'm gonna take another black bead and string it on. This is the distance between Mercury and Venus, which is the next bead, the orange bead. This is representing Venus. So I'm gonna slide Venus on. And I'm just getting over the edge of my extra string there. And then I will put another black bead on to represent the distance between Venus and Earth. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna put on Earth. Earth is the blue bead, our planet. We love you, Earth. We're so thankful for you. We're gonna do our best to take care of you. And then I am gonna put one more black bead. That is going to be the distance between Earth and Mars, the next planet, which is our red bead. So I'm threading on Mars. And then after Mars, I am gonna put three black beads. So you can see the distance between planets is starting to increase. All right, so I put the three beads on. And then the next planet is, we're gonna use the pink bead. And the next planet is Jupiter, one of the gas giants. And I'm gonna put Jupiter on. Now after Jupiter, I am gonna put six black beads on. So again, the distance is increasing between the planets. 
So six black beads go on. All right, there we go. And then next is the yellow bead and the yellow bead represents Saturn. So here comes Saturn. And then after Saturn, you are going to put 12 black beads, if you can see them there, on. So I have counted mine out ahead of time, which just is easier for me. It might be easier for you to do it that way. Or you can count them as you put them on. All right. It's so amazing to see the difference between the beads, between the planets. And it really, for me, helps me understand how vast and immense space is. All right, so this is my 12th black bead. And then my next planet is purple, and that is Uranus. So here comes Uranus. And then I'm gonna put the most amount of black beads on, the greatest amount of distance between planets. I am going to put 20 black beads on after Uranus. So again, I have counted all of these out. We're getting there. Our solar system is almost complete. And did you know that our solar system where we live is part of a galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy? And all the stars that we can see in the sky at night are a part of that galaxy, which is pretty amazing. Okay, that is number 20. That's my 20th bead on there. And then I am going to add my last bead, my last planet, which is Neptune. There you go. All right, so I have all of my planets on and I'm just gonna finish it up with the key ring. And so I'm gonna take it. And the good thing is, is that this is elastic cord. Oops. So it'll stretch a little bit. So I wanna place my key ring about where it looks like I have enough room for all of my beads. And then I'm gonna stretch it down just a little bit and I am going to tie a knot. And it is okay if um, you ask for help from someone in your house because knots can be a little bit tricky. So I've tied that first one and I am going to tie it again just to make sure it's secure. Okay, do that. See how it looks. Looks pretty good to me. Now the good, another good thing about this stretchy cord is that if you tie your knot and you have like a lot of excess maybe hanging out and you wanna make it tighter, it is easy um, to undo it and retie it. Um, so that's really good, you'll wanna do that. Now I have all of this excess um, cord here and you may be tempted to cut it off, but I am gonna tell you another bit from experience, a pro tip, that sometimes you might, um, you know, this might break somehow, or it might come undone, and you may need to retie it, and it'll just be easier if you have the extra cord. So we're gonna just um, put the excess down in to the beads. Let's do it this way like we did with the jingle bell. And so I'm just gonna put it in here and thread it down in. And it's coming out there a little bit. So you just wanna guide it through.
All right, so we're almost there. And then look, it came out the bottom there. <laughs> so that's okay. I can just keep putting it through. And then we have it finished. You have your very own solar system. There's the sun and Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Great job.